Hi guys, I'm Rick. Welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm making chili mac in my Ninja 3-in-1 cooking system. Alright, I'm starting out here in my Ninja and I have it warming up on stove top high. Now I'm going to add in a pound of 80-20 hamburger. And I'm going to brown this up. And this recipe here isn't a Ninja recipe, so I'm going to wing it and play it by ear. And uh, hopefully it turns out alright. So when my burger's about halfway browned, I'm going to add in an onion that I finally iced up and get that cooking in there too. And my ninja isn't quite up to temperature, but trust me, it will be soon. Alright, now that my burger's halfway fried, I'm going to add in that onion. And this is one medium to medium large onion that I finally diced up. And uh, I'm also going to add in a little bit of garlic powder, about a half a teaspoon some salt, about a quarter of a teaspoon, and almost lost my spoon there, about a quarter of a teaspoon of pepper. I'm going to continue frying this until that burger's all the way fried and my onions are fried through a translucent. Okay, my hamburger and onions are done frying. Burger's brown, onions are translucent. Now I'm going to add in a 28 ounce can of crushed tomatoes. And I have this still set on stove top high to warm up this uh, tomato, pureed tomatoes and all the other stuff I'm putting in here. Now I'm also going to add in a 24 ounce jar of ch chunky salsa. And this here is medium on the heat. You can go hot if you like or mild if you don't like heat. So I'm going with the medium because the kids, I don't want them yiping about it being too hot. And I'm going to stir that up. And I'm also going to add in here, I have some chili powder. I'm going to try one teaspoon and see how that tastes. And if I need to, I'll add more in. This is going to give it a good chili taste. Chili mac. While I'm stirring this up, I'd like to say happy... Uh, April Fool's Day to everybody. So whether you're a fool or whether you're cool, happy April Fool's Day. Alright, now I'm going to give this a taste and see how it is uh, on the uh, chili powder, salt, pepper, you know, just a quick taste to see how we're doing here. It's going to need more chili powder. I'm going to put another teaspoon in. And it's always best to go gradual because you can always add more. But if you put too much in, well then it's lights out, you're done. But you can't take away. Alright, now I'm going to give this a taste. And I didn't add any garlic in here, none of that, because there's garlic in that salsa, there's green pepper in that. So there really wasn't any dad garlic. And I put some garlic powder in there, if you remember, so... That has that covered. Let me taste it here. I'm going to put a little more chili powder in. Another teaspoon. We want to have that good uh, chili flavor. Or it would be chili mac. And like I said, this isn't a ninja recipe. This is just something I'm throwing together in a ninja. So uh, I'm going to hope for the best. But I'm prepared for the worst just in case. Alright, now I'm going to give this a taste. Needs a little more salt. I'm going to go for about another half a teaspoon. Alright. I'm going to put about a half a teaspoon of chili powder in. Just not quite hitting the uh, right notes of flavor with that. Probably when the kids eat it, are going to be like, oh gosh, Dad, this is so strong like chili. All right. That's tasting good. Now I have uh, two cups of water here I'm going to add in. 
and this is looking awful soupy, but it's supposed to because I'm going to add elbow macaroni in here and when you do elbow macaroni in a sauce it just drinks up the liquid. So what it will do is it will drink up all that water and uh, it's diluted right now the sauce but it will reduce down and it will regain its flavor again as it cooks. Okay now I have a one pound pack of elbow macaroni I'm going to add in here. And I'm going to stir that up well. I'm going to place my lid on here. Okay, now I'm going to turn this from stove top high to my oven setting. And that's going to default at 350. And I'm going to cook this for 12 minutes. But the thing is, with the Ninja, it only goes for, by 5 minute increments. So I'm going to set that for 15 minutes. And when it's down to 3 minutes, this will be done. Alright, my chili mac is done. And it actually took the 15 minutes rather than 12. But you can see all that... Uh, liquid is absorbed and if the uh, macaron is cooked perfect and I was thinking uh, one Ella for you and uh, Melissa for a low carb version of this you could substitute the elbow macaroni for uh, styrofoam packing peanuts what you talking about, <laughs> anyways let's go ahead and uh, serve up a bowl and see what we got all right I'm gonna finish this off by topping it with some shredded cheddar cheese so there you have it Chili Mac and the Ninja 3-in-1 cooking system. Give this a try. I think you'll like it. And until next time, I'll see you.